So this is giant freaking pentagram in the middle of nowhere, right? This is nothing new. As you can see, it got a lot of coverage back in 2013, around the same time we all started waking up, right? Now, if you read these articles, you find nothing but fluff because they don't want the truth to come out. See, a lot of people don't realize that those in power, the ones behind the scenes pulling the strings, they believe in God, just not the God you're familiar with, okay? Now, I could just post the coordinates of this pentagram and call it a day, but I want to prove to you that it's not in the middle of quote-unquote nowhere, and it wasn't created by accident. It's pointing downward for a very specific reason. I'll show you the facts, but first we need to understand why they chose that specific spot in the first place. And, and then I'll show you uh, exactly where it is. So to understand why that spot was chosen, you need to understand something. All scientific discoveries were preceded by a period where an idea was so foreign to the group mind that they believed the person sharing it to be crazy. Okay, History is littered with examples of these free thinkers being ostracized for their ideas and being forced to design tools to measure and prove their beliefs. Only for society at large to later adopt the very idea as the dominant thought. Oh, you think there's an invisible force pulling everything to the ground? Lock this man up and break off the key inside the lock. Weld it shut. Right? We believe we're smarter than our ancestors because we have all this technology. But a lot of people don't even know how to use or fix the crap they have. Okay? Anyway... There are these 12 areas on Earth where energy is concentrated at a certain point within a triangular range due to the Earth's tectonic shift. You'll see soon what I mean by this when we look at the eye of the Sahara. Uh, these areas are known as vortexes. Six positive, known as the vortices of the Tropic of Cancer because astrology. And six negative, known as the vortices of the Tropic of Capricorn. As I showed in the previous video, Capricorn basically means seagull, aka the devil, in quotation marks. But that's not why they're considered bad. We'll be looking at a few of these vile vortexes, aptly named, in a, in a minute or so, uh, but to understand why they're negative. But uh, just for example, right, the Bermuda Triangle over here and the Devil's Sea in the South China Sea are known for violent storms. Also, one of these areas over here, I'll show you over here so you can verify. This is Google Maps, bro. I mean, Google Earth. It's a, you can pull up all these details yourself. You can just verify that. There was no, in the past, there was no way to prove all these things, you know. Uh, but now you have all the evidence right in the palm of your hand. So if you still can't see the truth, then die in peace because you're a lost soul, okay? What's important and what you need to understand is that, is that these 12 vortices are equidistant from one another and when connected form a specific, a special geometric shape known as icosahedron. This is a platonic solid that represents water, the essential element missing from 99% of planets that I know of, okay? Why is this special? If you were to place an icosahedron inside a sphere, like the Earth, it would only touch it at 12 equidistant points. Just like in the microcosm where atoms arrange themselves in geometric shapes due to invisible forces, so too do these vortex forces exert a near constant force, which can be better visualized by focusing your eyes on the vertex of icosahedron, the point where the lines meet. Let's look at number 41, for example. Notice if you draw the lines at the center of the triangle, you know, number 41 triangle, yellow lines, that's the ones I'm talking about. That's why I'm saying just the vertex it follows the same line, the same principle. You'll, if you follow the lines outward from the center, the triangle, you end up with a flat point of star within a pentagon. Okay, that's a pentagram. Do you understand the level of symbolism we're dealing with here? These ley lines, the yellow lines, are where all forces combine and balance, like the elements. You know, like this. 
you recognize this picture anybody recognize this picture yep that's the four elements balancing with spirit and that is all matter the animating principle coming within the creation and that is life okay you don't notice these things but they're all around you who creates these logos do you know what a sigil is and why do they choose these very specific designs do you know why they say money is the root of all evil we're in a spiritual war and you don't even know it you're trapped in the physical realm with an undeveloped spiritual form once your physical vessel is gone you're gone because you don't understand the spiritual the unseen these people they literally want to be seen they want to be spoon-fed that's why they're so frustrated with life obsessing about being liked and living some perfect fairy tale life which if you're not living like that you feel like a failure to the point where people are so indoctrinated that they believe what the herd says must be the truth the only truth you must have a child, you must be married at so and so in age. Get a job! Even if it's unfulfilling and soul crushing. And if these people made a decision based on their own instincts, well then it must be wrong. Because why else would it feel this way? But they don't understand. The programming is no longer working on this. I'm not sure if it's because I don't watch as much TV or I don't keep up with the drama or even the news sometimes. But us free thinkers no longer accept their narratives without, you know, proof beyond a reasonable doubt. If you're part of this movement, please like and share. But uh, yeah, let's get back to the, uh, the pentagram. So just a quick summary. Because we got off topic over there. Whether you want to believe it or not, there are 12 energy vortexes. Yes, I prefer vortexes to vortices. I, uh, X's just sound cooler. Anyways, 12 vortexes, energy vortexes around the world. For example, let's move into number 20, the eye of Africa. Remember, I said. The energy is within about a triangular space and not just in one spot. Well, this is what I mean. It's believed that these naturally occurring concentric circles was partly caused by the magnetic mountain located just a few kilometers away over here. Okay. Yes, this whole mountain is made out of magnetite. Crazy, huh? A strong magnet at this blue triangle? What? Okay, so scientists confirmed all of this. You can research it. It's there. But they're so daft to confirm that these areas mess with their instruments to the point of the results being the wet dream of a quantum physicist. Okay? They still rely on these inaccurate measurements and dismiss any results that are contradictory or they can't explain. So they find, so maybe they find uh, remnants of an old civilization here and their reading shows, oh, it's cool, it started cooling off five million years ago, only to have it fit into some other theory, you know, any results that don't fit that theory has to be discarded. They don't put that in the books, they just dispose of that data, that doesn't make sense, okay? And that theory may also be based on faulty readings. And yes, I am insinuating that the Earth may not be as old as the scientist theorized. Key word, theory. All right, moving on. Number 41 in South Africa-ish is thought by actual scientists to be a hot spot for changes in the global magnetic field. Blue triangle, another magnet, strong magnetic changes, disruptions, huh? I take all this time to show you these things because I want you to understand that I did my research. 
I can back it up. You have the power to fact check me on any of this crap I'm talking about. But you know what? It goes even deeper than you expected. Now back to what I was saying, okay? It's been observed that unexplained phenomena occur at higher frequencies at these locations. For example, Bermuda Triangle, vortex number 18. Look at that. Believed to be the source of the tropical storms and hurricanes suffered by America. Like who would have thought that an energy vortex Okay. could be the source of vortex shaped storms let's zoom in over here and just look at how weird it looks i mean the bahamas don't get me wrong it looks beautiful god damn but seriously that that water just looks weird i would not swim in it i feel i should blur this part out as well now, people are quick to say that the area known as the Bermuda Triangle has, quote, no higher than average occurrence for disappearances than any comparable area in the Pacific Ocean. But ask them, what happened to USS Cyclops? They have no answer. USS Cyclops mysteriously disappeared with everyone on board no trace of anything or anyone and the military or the navy or whatever with all the fancy technology the u.s military still has no clue what happened think about that if i take a fart and if i say Ooh, osama bin laden on the phone they're gonna be in my house oh my god could you hear that? It sounded like a chopper. Okay. But here, nothing. It's gone. They don't know what's going on. No wreckage. Nothing. Hmm. Okay, let's not believe in what I'm saying now, okay? Because there's no pattern here. Okay. But anyway, they say the reason that compasses and devices sometimes act strange in these areas is because, specifically in the Bermuda Triangle in this case, the agonic line sometimes passes through the Bermuda Triangle. Okay, now the agonic line is a place on Earth on Earth's surface where the true north and magnetic north aligned because yeah there's actually a magnetic pole and then there's the real <laughs> south the north pole of the surface because sometimes it doesn't align but at the Bermuda Triangle it does align and there's no need to compensate on your compass for the ma magnetic declination due to this unseen magnetic disturbance okay again i have shown you multiple times multiple places that are evenly spaced and it cannot be a coincidence regarding this icosahedron shape and where all these weird magnetic disturbances occur and you know what's also related to magnetism electricity as in thunder if we move over to the next uh next triangle thingy this one over here you see there's some storms brewing over here you can check this out yourself okay this is all freely available information we can go over to the devil sea over there in the south china sea but it's the same thing okay you see the storms electricity to magnetism i've showed you multiple examples but you didn't come for that you came for the vinegar so let's get on with that. If you want me to cover the other areas, the other triangles and all these other things, there's a lot of interesting things out there, okay? So please share this video if it gets 100K views. I'll put together a nice video going through all these locations for y'all. It's going to be real interesting. So drop a comment. Let me know what else you want to see. I'm a weirdo, always looking to learn more. So these type of things really interest me. Uh, so anyway the ancients knew about all of these things the the ancient and so anyway the ancients knew about all of this this icosahedron shape and they built sites around the world mirroring these lines 
the lines created by this icosahedron. So yes, they knew if you put an icosahedron inside a circle, it's gonna touch it at 12 points. So along those, the lines those 12 points create, they built sacred sites, which means that they knew the world was round. But Homo Stupidus had to go sail around the world to prove he won't fall off the edge so he can find the land to pillage and plunder. But we are getting off topic again. Let me get back to what I was saying. Okay, this for these pentagons on Nicosahedron. Okay, it doesn't make sense. Okay, just keep in mind Nicosahedron has 20 triangular faces. Google it. These faces are uh, put together in groups of five, which is a pentagon, and there's four pentagons. Like I showed previously, the five triangles, that is the four elements in spirit. Now this time, the four pentagons, that's the four elements. Fact check me, it's all there. This is what the ancients believed, okay? So the ancients knew all of this. That's all I'm gonna say. I know it's getting too deep, but trust me, this is all needed to understand why they chose that particular spot for the pentagram. So let's zoom into it. By the way, it is number three on the list. They chose this specific spot to put up this 666 foot radius because of the sacred energies the earth emits. I know science will call this nonsense, but at some point every scientific theory was believed to be nonsense. Yet they still call it a theory of film theory. I don't know, that sounded cool and made. Anyway, there's a lot of unseen forces constantly swirling around us. Radio waves, microwaves, sound waves, electromagnetic waves, solar radiation, visible light, neutrino waves, dark matter, energy, magnetic energy. 99.99999% of the time. We don't even realize it. So we think there's nothing there. The ancients who were more in tune with their spiritual selves realized that there's a lot we won't ever know and modern people think because our technology is so advanced that we must be smarter than those old people right i mean how could they possibly have lived without tiktok or roblox or pornhub imagine that huh all that wasted energy seeking to distract us from looking inside but i'm getting off topic i promise we are zooming into number three right now as we speak what you need to understand is the ancients were able to calm their minds so they can receive the downloads and they began to understand the divine plan this led to the erection of several sacred sites around the world such as the Egyptian pyramids, Machu Picchu, Stonehenge, Angkor Wat, etc. All of these align with the same icosahedron, but can't go into these right today. We need to get onto that pentagram. Maybe at the end, I'm gonna go to the pyramids. We can check out the pyramids. Uh, maybe also uh, Kaaba, Mecca, Mecca. Yeah, Mecca looks cool. Wow, I'd like to go there someday. It looks really beautiful, but just keep in mind that place is basically hijacked or something. It's like a pirate. Like, you just stole it. These places, anyway, they are where they felt these intense concentrations of unseen energy, you know, like at the poles and how the birds can detect the magnetic fields, use it to migrate use it to migrate or something ever ask yourself why they chose to go with the magnetic waves and like not the weather or something more visible so anyway i found on google that the address for some reason it says 666 santan upper tobal reservoir kazakhstan i don't know what the hell is going on there and it's claimed that if you walk the entire distance you can measure this with the google maps thingy that would be 443,556 feet. That's 666,666 feet or 1.26 miles, which is 6,660 feet. 
you can easily measure the distance on google I'm not gonna go into the details but just saying bro just saying and you know how i told in the previous video washington monument 550 feet tall 555 feet tall at 666 inches and the base is 500 and i mean 55.5 feet wide or 66.6 .6 inches obviously it doesn't stop at ground level da, 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 the foundation blah 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 now obviously it doesn't just stop at ground level but these are interesting things if you want me to go into further detail about this video i could make a part two but i just feel like this is a long enough time to listen to me yap so if you want more information i know this is way more information that you'll find online let me know what's up hope you have a great blessed day stay safe